everybody. Today I am here doing a 1920s flapper style look. Um, as you can see, I also have my hair all pinned. I'm going to be doing a 20s style hairdo as well, which will be a separate vi separate video. I will link it at the end of this video. Um, so hopefully you guys like this. I've been getting lots and lots of requests for more of a 20s look. So um, give me any feedback that you've got in any other videos you want to see. But until then, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is cover your brows. Um, I don't have a whole lot of brows to start with, but to make your brows nice and thin, you want to just kind of cover them. So I'm using this concealer by Bomber Betty. It's just in their very fair color. And I'm just going to kind of go over my brows with it. And make sure that you push hard enough that you're getting all the way down to the skin. Now I look like a scary eyebrowless person. Ah! So anyways, now I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to try to blend it. Be gentle that you don't actually um, pull the concealer off with your sponge. Now I'm going to take my powder. I'm just using True Match and I'm going to powder over the top to set the concealer so that it's not wet. Now you can also do the uh, glue stick trick if you just want to completely get rid of your eyebrows, but I'm not going to do that because my eyebrows are actually pretty thin. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and a little sponge applicator, and then I'm going to take this really light color and just put it under my brow bone. Now I'm going to take my Bomber Betty Brow Wow. Uh, I use Julia. That's the color that I use. Um, people asked me in the last video. So that's what I use. They don't really make um, a real red quite yet, so this is the closest that I get to red. And then I'm going to take my angled brush, and I'm just going to thinly draw my brows. And I'm going to try to draw them flat without too much of an arch, because they didn't really do much of an arch back then, and I'm going to do them as thin as I can do them. take that natural eye palette again and I'm gonna take my lid shader my Sigma lid shader and I'm gonna take this gold color it's called honey pot it's this last color and I'm just gonna kind of put it in the center of my eyelid now when I'm done with that I'm gonna take my Sigma crease shader and then my Bobbi Brown palette they do a you can build your own palettes, so I've just put these three colors in here. This one is called Black Cocoa. And you're just gonna cover your, sh your lid around that gold you just put on and make sure it's a round shape and not winged out. And also you're gonna focus on the inner corner right here too to make sure that you get a lot of that color in there. your blending brush and just blend that top part into the white. Now I'm going to take my cargo palette and use my same black shadow that I use for almost everything and I'm just going to go into the crease and just add more black just to make it a little bit more dramatic. take a smudger brush and I'm gonna use that same brown Bobbi Brown and I'm gonna line the bottom lashes now I'm gonna take my crease brush again get some more of that brown and just make the eye smoky and make sure it all kind of blends you kind of want it all to be kind of a circular shape all of your shadow. The 20s were about really big round eyes and round lips and everything just kind of being round. So now I'm going to take my liquid liner and I'm just going to do a line just right against my lash line. No wing, nothing fancy, just to give you a little bit more pop in your eye. Now 
now I'm going to take my black waterproof eyeliner and just line the bottom. So now you're going to cover your top and bottom lashes with... I'm just using this Lash Blast Fusion. When I do fakes, I always use kind of cheapy mascara because it doesn't really matter um, on your top lashes. You can use something different if you want on your bottom lashes. I just use the same for both. Okay, now I'm going to put on my fakes and I'm using these Demi Wispies by Ardell. You can use any kind you want. Um, I would actually advise using a rounder lash, a lash that doesn't have as much of a flare out on the end. This is a little bit more flared than I like, but I don't have a super round lash right now. But if you really want that flapper look, you want the lashes to kind of be the same length all the way across. While your lashes are drying, you're going to do your blush. I just have this Laura Geller palette. I don't think they make it anymore, but I'm using a mix of Dusty Rose and Gingerberry. Um, I advise that you use kind of a muted color, not anything super pink or super orange or super red, because all of the colors that they used to use back then were pretty muted. So I'm just going to get an equal amount of both, and right in the center of the front of my cheek, I'm going to just really get that color in there. You don't want too much out here, you want it all to kind of be concentrated here. But you also don't want it to be um, a solid circle, like you don't want to look like a clown. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lips. Basically, I'm just going to take a liner and I'm going to draw an exaggerated lip. Just like this. So you're just going to fill that in, and then I'm going to take this lipstick by Bomber Betty. It's called Trist. It's just kind of like a muted, purpley, pinky, red. Um, it's not really one specific color. And then I'm going to take my brush, and I'm going to fill in what I've just lined. Okay, so now that your lashes are dry. I'm just gonna do a, a, a gentle coat of my mascara just to kind of get them cemented together. Now I get a lot of people asking me about curling your lashes after you either put lashes on or put mascara on. I do it to kind of cement the um, lashes into your real lashes, but I don't do it really hard. So you don't wanna break lashes off, you don't want them sticking to the curler. You just kinda wanna give it a little bounce just to kinda get those lashes stuck to your normal lashes. Just like that. So now your makeup is done, and if you want to do my 1920s um, hairstyle, then you can check out this video, and I'll show you how it's done.